gentlemen, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron Phillips. Today I am in Como, Italy, the town at the bottom of Lake Como. I traveled here yesterday from Sweden. I was in Sweden. I flew from Copenhagen to Milan, then took a train for about an hour and a half up actually into Switzerland, then back down to Como. And now I'm on a train to Albate, which will take me right up to Como San Giovanni, which is like the town of Lake Como. And we're spending two days there. Not really sure what's gonna happen after that. I might come back, back down to Milan. I might go to Florence, I might spend some more time in Rome, but I just got on this train and there's literally no one on the train at all. I was originally gonna take the city train right to downtown Milano Cent Centrale. I'm having a hard time saying that today. Which is like the center train station, the main train station. They get another train that'll take me up to San Giovanni. Instead, I asked the man at the ticket counter and he told me that I could just get on this train, it'll take me straight there. It cost me 12 euros, goals. And I'm super excited to be back in Italy and super excited to get to my Airbnb tonight and chill. It was an exhausting four days in Sweden. We did a lot. So I'm really trying to kind of like lay low the next two days, rest up, have some nice Italy time, edit the vlogs. Super excited for this adventure, guys. It's going to be amazing. Last night was super chill for me. I got caught in a rainstorm. So I just went grocery shopping. It's pouring rain and I'm just braving it to get home right now. I bought some red wine and some pasta supplies, tomatoes, onions. Let's get home. And this morning I've spent editing a video doing some work, but now I'm ready to go out and explore the town. The Airbnb host told me of an amazing pizza place and you guys, I've been craving Italian pizza ever since I left Italy. So, um, it's a little bit rainy today. It's a pretty chill day here. We're gonna head out, find some pizza, maybe find another adventure, see what's going on in the city today, and maybe also plan out what I'm doing for the rest of my European vacation, because I still have no plans as after tomorrow. <laughs> Everything I wanted. It was a beautiful Italian Neapolitan style pizza. I definitely recommend this place if you are in the town of Como. And as you can see, now I'm out on this pier overlooking the whole lake. You can see behind me in the actual town over there. Well, I think now I'm gonna head up on the Funicola, which takes you up to the top of that mountain behind me. And from there, you can have a view down to the lake. I think it's only five euros, so let's go and see if we can do it. Also, that whole lunch, that pizza, the espresso and that whole bottle of water was 12 euros and 90 cents. That's amazing. Um, that might sound expensive to you guys, but for a sit down restaurant to get a pizza and espresso and a bottle of water, I'm happy, very, very happy. So I made it up the funicular to the top of Brunate, which is the town up on the hill. And look at this view already. This isn't even the lakeside. I really don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna walk up the hill, see what I find, hope I find a nice view. But it's crazy, guys, that it just went straight up the mountain. <laughs> so what's fun about this trip, and this moment specifically, is that I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no plan. I'm just up here exploring. This is like the truest sense of the word exploring. I'm trying to find a view down at the lake. I don't know where that view is, but we're gonna look for it. But it's so beautiful, it's like forested and pristine up here. You guys, this is so wild. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere on this path, thinking that they built these homes in the late 1800s and wondering how they even built up here. Some nice women from New Zealand told me that apparently there's a fountain up here with a view and that's where people are walking on this road. So I'm continuing up the road, hopefully I'll find the fountain in a little bit and show you guys the surrounding view because the mountains are so beautiful. I think I have found a viewpoint down here, which is what I've been looking for. Okay, you guys, look at this. The whole point of this channel, like recently, and me wondering like, the why do I make travel videos, why do I do this, is to help inspire you guys to go and have experiences around the world and to help show you guys that experiences like this are totally possible. I mean, I came here without any semblance of a plan and look what I've gotten myself into. I'm just about to start my trek back down to maybe find a glass of wine or another vantage point. And out from the mountains, I mean, out from the clouds, the Alps have just emerged. And when I say I'm shook, like literally I am shook. Huge, look at this. 
I mean, I know the Alps are big, but that literally looks like part of the clouds. It's so tall over there. I didn't realize we were that close to a mountain that tall. Yeah, overall though, this is very stunning. And I was just talking to those women who were from New Zealand and they said they were going to Lugano, Switzerland tomorrow. And I still don't know where I'm gonna go next. So, you know, a concept, maybe I'll go to Switzerland. We'll see. had a stressful past 35 minutes actually more like an hour I just booked my travel for the next four days I'm actually heading to somewhere new I'm actually gonna leave Italy for the weekend to go visit a really old friend who I have not seen in literally years she's living in Europe she invited me to come spend the weekend with her and I figured like experiencing a town with a local is invaluable so I'm gonna spend one more night in Como one more additional night that means I'll have all day tomorrow as well to do a lake tour and then I'm going on a surprise adventure, but for now, I'm gonna go and have an aperitivo in the piazza. I need a glass of white wine to calm my nerves after that stressful ordeal. But Airbnb, two flights, everything's coordinated, good to go, wine time. my second and last full day here in Como and today I'm taking a boat tour up the lake. It is the most beautiful stunning day for the first time today. It's been cloudy and raining the other two days which has been a nice kind of moody photography thing but the fact that it's sunny now I am living. It's about 11:30 in the morning. I have spent the entire morning editing, getting some work done, went out and had my cappuccino but now it's time for the time of day that you love. It's time for la pizza. I need some more pizza. <laughs> So I'm gonna go and find somewhere to eat some pizza, first of all, and then wander down to the port, get my tickets, and I think it's kind of a hop off, hop on thing, and you can go around a whole zone of the lake. We'll see how that all works. We'll head down there. It is the most stunning day today. I'm so excited to explore. <laughs> Thought I was getting on a boat to come right up here, but she told me it was actually the last one of the day and it was leaving in five minutes. So I just hopped on. Ended up being a two and a half hour ride up to Bellagio. But I've made it and look how beautiful. I have literally no idea where I am. I'm just walking around this random street and I'm living for it. It's so beautiful here. So obviously it was no small feat to get up here. Two and a half hours is a long time to spend on a boat, but the actual views of just the lake and getting to explore more than just the town of Como totally made it worth it. And I'm planning on leaving on the four o'clock ferry. It's about two o'clock now. So that means I have some exploring to do. Of course, the first thing I did was get away from the tourist area because I had no desire to be around that. Like where the ferry actually got in is all the very overrated and overpriced restaurants. Just being on this lake though is phenomenal, truly phenomenal. I'm gonna try and find an Aperol spritz and maybe a little snack board for my afternoon. I'm gonna walk back down to the main area now. So I've walked around the point and this is the edge of the little like piece of land that Bellagio is on. You can see the entire like upper Y section of the lake. And this is just so spectacular. I cannot believe I'm here right now. <laughs> I need an apple spritz. And like I was saying the other day, Switzerland is literally like right over those mountains there. Like that is the Alps right there.
So I am home now. What an amazing day in Como. I explored so much of the lake besides just the town of Como. The ticket cost me 25 euros, about $30, and it cost me the entire day as well. I literally left at noon and got back at six. So six hours, but it was well, well worth it, even though I spent four hours of those on the ferry. The pass is a day pass, so that means you can go and stop at any of the different ports you want. But on top of that, you have a nice, slow, leisurely pace, which allows you to see all the beautiful Italian vistas. I'm not saying Bellagio is the best place to stop on Lake Como because the thing is that it's kind of that classic situation where it's the most famous, and it is very cute, but I'm sure there's many other very cute towns that have less tourist numbers, but are also very iconic, if you kind of know what I mean. Bellagio is very, very hyped and you could see that by the amount of tourists reflected there. So I don't feel like the town of Como is that touristy. Like, of course it is, but it's nothing like Florence in the summertime or like Positano, you know, like the big names like that. It's nothing like that here. I really feel such a local presence and such a local culture. I mean, everyone speaks English, but apart from that, it feels very genuine here. I do really enjoy it. So tonight's agenda, I'm gonna work for a little bit and then aperitivo in tw literally 20 minutes. What can I get done in 20 minutes? So out here on the shores of Lake Como is where I'm going to end the Como travel vlog series. If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and a thumbs up, and stay tuned because in the next episode, I'm traveling to Madrid, Spain to meet up with an old friend from high school I haven't seen in like four years. This is crazy. This is going to be wild. I'll see you guys then.